forgive me for delaying my intro for so long there. I just had to partake in this lovely little bit of music here. In fact, it's ironic because the music is actually... In this game is written by the same lady who wrote the music for Plants vs. Zombies. Which is none other than our very own Laura Shigihara. And I recently heard her in an interview on Super Beard Brothers. And she mentioned this game and it kind of reminded me... That I've actually had a lot of people tell me I should play this game over the course of the last couple of years. And so I've decided, well, maybe it was finally time to. Finally time to give it a go. So here I am. I'm going to give it a go now. I don't know anything about this game aside from a few rudimentary details about the plot. Basically what it says in the description when you download it. Something about going into some guy's memory or something. E either way. We're going to begin here. And we'll just see what this is about. Hmm. This looks nice. Is this like an RPG? Yeah, there she is. Brilliant music composer. Obviously, anyone who's played Plants vs. Zombies, which is pretty much everybody, knows what a brilliant composer she is. I just got my converter here, or my, uh, <laughs> my cursor, should I say. I want to see someone, little girl playing piano here. Some kids standing behind watching. Oh. Door opens. Oh, goodness. Somebody got in an accident? Are you okay? Is he wearing a surgeon's mask? Where are you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Oh. You ran over it anyways. <laughs> oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. <laughs> he likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click an object to interact with it, okay? Okay, received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Right click to toggle menu or cancel. So we got Dr. Neil Watts. Uh, Dr. Eva Rosaline. Get notes. With a box this heavy, what's inside? It's gotta be important. Hmm. Yeah, I'll say. Save, I guess. You can auto save if you want. I'll be going right up here and saving my own copy though. So, how do I get back out of this? Here we go. Alright. Let me guess. Do I have to use the arrow keys to walk around or WASD? Okay, arrow keys. Here we go. Now, I didn't know this was going to be like an overhead game. I thought this was like a point and click adventure or something. It seems like there's two ways to go here. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Uh, what am I gonna do? Carry the car on my back, too? Just wanted to see if you remembered. Oh. How thoughtful of you. Very well. Man, this is really weird. So you can go behind the tree here. Can you go over there? I'm digging this so far. This is nice. Can I use my controller on this, I wonder? I have an Xbox controller plugged in, but I don't know if it would work. No, it doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Well, whatever. I may have to look into that later. Sometimes I know you have to change options and stuff to... ...make that work. Hmm. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. <laughs> The Gorons live up here. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. 
Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Um, push it by hand. Alright, on three. One, two, three! Ugh! Hey, yeah, see, that worked. Jeez. I, I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Yeah, there was some kind of weird sound I thought I heard. We need to get going for now. We'll figure that thing out later. Right. Can I like walk with a mouse? Ooh, I can. Interesting. Huh. No, I think I like the arrows better. Is there any point in me even coming up here? Let's see, I can go back this. Okay, we can walk behind the columns here. Yeah. Can't walk behind that one. I'm wondering what was the other way now. It's probably a dead end. It's like a hot spring or something. <laughs> hot spring. Sure. It's kind of making me wonder now, though. Uh, oh, that's the fence. For some reason, I thought that was a bridge. Where are we, anyway? Oh, okay, this is the house. They panned across at the beginning of the game. Knock, knock. Excuse me, we seem to have hit a tree out in your front yard. Oh. Ma, they're here! Uh-oh. She's looking out the windows. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I guess not. I could do better. <laughs> Of course, you're a doctor. Night shifts. Love him or hate him? Hate him. Never go back to that again. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> no kidding. I just think it was me saying that. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... What is he doing? What do I look like, Duster? I guess I should bring the equipment. I don't get paid enough for this. Okay. Um, why are we bringing the equipment in? I always thought they were lighthouses. Okay, this is very strange. Is this a, is this a three-act structure here? Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Lily, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. Okay, this is where we were supposed to be anyway. I thought maybe we just hit the tree on the way somewhere. And we were just trying to knock on some random person's house. Hmm bad at predicting death. Are you the patient's daughter? No, just his caretaker. And you have kids. These are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. Huh. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. I assume Johnny is the old man. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Well, I hope he has insurance. Start to get a feeling that this equipment is going to be something really important here. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Very well. You can do that then. Received equipment. Go upstairs? Uh, why is it asking me that? Should I not? Let's torture the doctor and walk around with this for a little bit here. Let's 
Let's go play some on the piano. Four River. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Yeah, it's an Everclear song, didn't you know? You know, do 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 yeah, I guess you're right. But what about what's out here? Okay, it really does want me to go upstairs. Yes, let's do it. Oh, man. Okay, they're gone. Took them long enough to leave. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. <laughs> No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Wow. Alright then. So far, so good. The kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. I thought he said Metroid for a second there. I was like, jeez. Well, here we are. You must be the medical doctor. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. Hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Okay, this guy's dying. Um, ready to set up? No. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. No, let's look around. Just, because that's what I do. Painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Painting of an animal of some sort. And a casual painting of three people. Alright. They're all just paintings, though. They're not, like, photographs. It's interesting. Oh, I guess we need to... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait, wait. No, I don't think my back's broken yet. <laughs> See what's going on, and oh, we're in the bathroom. Of course, this is why you wanted me to play this game. It's just because of this, right? Let's take a bath. Let's throw the equipment in the bath. All right, I know where I'm. I'm done messing around. Let's do it. So, what are we gonna do with this guy? I mean, we're gonna go into his memories, yeah, but why? Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. <laughs> oh crap. What's going on? Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> Whoa. What is this, solar powered? Man, a day or two? That's plenty of time. What do you mean that's plenty of time? Plenty of time for what? So you two can grant him any wish, huh? Is that why we're here, to grant a wish? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? That's what I'd like to know. The moon? Does he want to go to the moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. Well. Wow. Huh. That's a tricky one. It depends. <laughs> she meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. 
Johnny's an odd man. Of the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke through the two years. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, for Pete's sake. Well, you know. I suppose. So be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? <laughs> Who goes to search the house? I think that should be... Dr. Rosaline. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. <laughs> right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Well, I kind of already looked at the, um... Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Here, take this. Remote patient monitor. Okay. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. How far, like, are we talking about here? Are we gonna go on a whole adventure through, like, the city, like, with this thing, or... Let's see what we need to, though. I don't know. Hey guys, you sure are doing a good job playing the piano. Watch a wand. Show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. <laughs> Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. Jeez, oh my god. It's, uh, no, cut the crap and help. We're short on time now, but if you just show me around... Then Dr. Whites will pay for it. however many candy canes you want later. Really? Like, even if I ask for ten? Or twelve? No more than five. They're bad calories. <laughs> That's still better than one. Okay, deal then. Wow, it actually worked. Usually it's a but thou must kind of thing, you know? Okay, I need to blow my nose. You know what? I think I'll call the video there for an hour to twenty minutes. So, uh, next time on To the Moon, I guess we'll take a tour of the house. See you guys then.